Hi y'all, welcome to this space. My name is Edith Onyonyi, if you are new here. And this is a space where we discuss matters concerning mental health. And in my video today, I'll be sharing about four important constructs. Yeah, and uh, this is in regards to your emotional health, your mental health, uh, when you want to navigate through emotions. So the first uh, aspect is ACT acknowledgement uh, so what is acknowledgement it is the acceptance of truth and existence of something so you need to acknowledge you know if you have an emotion you need to acknowledge uh, what am i feeling you know what am i feeling acknowledge it uh, you can acknowledge that you have trauma. You can acknowledge that you have anxiety. You can acknowledge that you have depression. And acknowledgement does not mean that you uh, does not mean that you're branding yourself uh, that that feeling. You know, I, I I I've I've realized that people think sometimes that when you acknowledge something, you're now uh, wearing that title. You know, that I am a depressed person. I am an anxious person. You know, that does not mean that you brand yourself. It just means that you recognize what you're feeling. You recognize your emotions. And there's nothing wrong with acknowledging. You know, when you acknowledge something, uh, it makes you um, be aware. Exactly. Just being aware of what is going on in you. You know? acknowledging and this brings me to my second uh construct and that is vulnerability so what is vulnerability vulnerability is taking the risk to reveal your emotions now this is something that most of us don't do or find it very difficult to do you know just taking that risk risking it and you know why people find it difficult? It's because of how society has conditioned us. We've been conditioned to be these people uh, who, who are strong. You know, because the truth of the matter is we are humans. Part of our human experience is pain, suffering, you know, emotions. A part of our human experience. And uh, it's viewed that having... Uh, these emotions like sadness, you know, anger, bitterness, uh, it means um, that you're a weak person or you're a bad person, which actually is not true because these are part, you know, there's a reason why God created these emotions and these are just part of who we are uh, as human beings. So being vulnerable is a risky thing, you know, even just crying. Because people are afraid of judgment. They'll be judged. So vulnerability is important as much as it's risky. It's very important to be vulnerable, to talk about it. And when you become vulnerable, it brings me to the next construct, which is authenticity. Now, authenticity is that you have, um, you have to own your personality. You know? Uh, values you know who you are regardless of the influence of others like um, you represent yourself honestly just being able to represent yourself honestly without other people influence regardless of what they say about you you're able to represent yourself honestly you know very authentic this is me these are my values uh, this is, these are my beliefs. These are my feelings. This is my personality. Like, you're very uh, authentic about you. And you know, uh, you cannot be authentic unless you become vulnerable, unless you acknowledge what you're feeling. Yeah, that's what makes you an authentic person. You know, so many people out here are walking around are feeling, are, are, are barring their emotions, you know? Like their appearance does not reflect what is going on inside them. Outside they may be smiling, laughing, you know, but inside they are very much depressed. They are very sad. They are crying. Why? Because they are not able to acknowledge 
or they're feeling they've not been able to become vulnerable. And that is a very sad stage to be in. You know, living a life of pretense is a very sad uh, stage to be in. Allow yourself to be vulnerable. Allow yourself to feel. Allow yourself. There's nothing wrong with that. Just allow yourself. Okay? It brings me to my fourth construct, which is empathy. Now, empathy is the ability to feel what the other person is feeling. You know, like they say, wearing another person's shoes. Yeah, that is exactly empathy. That you are able to understand and feel. Now, you cannot be empathetic if you don't, you're not even authentic about yourself. You cannot. Because you're bitter, you know? You're fake. You, you're not the real you. So how will you be able even to understand the other person? You know, you will be judging other people. So empathy is just understanding what is this person going through? Can I feel what this person is feeling? Now, if you cannot be able to feel your own feelings, how will you be able to feel the feelings of others? That's not possible. So these are four constructs that I was talking about, which are very, very important. And when it comes to empathy, you know, just even understanding that not everyone in this world is privileged. So just uh, being in the worldview of the other person, not everyone has social support. Not everyone grew up in a conducive environment. So just understanding that and giving people that space to feel giving people that space to speak you know is very very important and not being judgmental at all yeah so thank you very much for watching this video i hope that you will take into account as you work towards uh becoming the authentic you you know becoming the authentic self yeah until next time Bye-bye.